you to give me the opportunity to take care of you as my wife. See, no, no, no. if you get married to me, you know there is money in this business now. A very big money. No money. I will open a very big big shop for you. Big shop? Big shop. Big one. Big one. <laughs> Mom, he will open a big shop for you. <laughs> so, will you marry me? Mom, I have a have a I Uh, Jeanette, my daughter, uh, just take it easy. We will, will not call you here to upset you, please. Papa? Papa, is it because of this nonsense that you called me on the phone to start coming back to the village without telling me why I'm coming home? What are you calling nonsense? That a young man came with his parents to ask sick for the marriage? Eh? That is what you're calling nonsense? Eh? Let me warn you, don't dare talk to me in such a manner again. I am sorry if I raise my voice, Papa. But please, I will not want this embarrassment to repeat itself again. Hey, what is this? Whenever I want to get married, I will get married. Look at who is talking. Do you know this is the second suitor you are rejecting this year? The second one. <laughs> Do you think you're a baby? That is the more reason, Papa. That's the more reason you allow me to make my choice. Eh? Even if I want to get married, not to a kunikuli seller. Close your mouth. Have you lost your senses? Just look at the way you are talking to your father. What has come over you? Because you want something good for you. Mama, eh? please, Mama, please do not start. Do not start. In short, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Please let me start going to the city because the distance is far. Oh. Papa Janet. Did you see her? Janet! <laughs> Drink from my in-laws. <laughs> <laughs>